Could you leave me? How can I help you? Andrew, it's Pat. I'm sorry I got delayed. No worries, Pat. No worries. I just uh, like checking in. You know, you're normally... Uh, I couldn't get this guy to stop talking long enough to even send you a uh, text. And I don't tend to read my emails or text while I'm still in the meeting. So yeah. I, I knew it was 5 o'clock and my anxiety was going up, but I couldn't get the guy to take the hit. So anyway, it's gone now. Okay, no worries, no worries. Um, That's no problem at all, Pat. Okay. So how are you doing? I know it's... Uh, I'm doing good. I'm doing. I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing great. To tell you the truth, Pat, uh, um, I uh, told uh, the premier and I spoke with Jerry yesterday that I'd give you guys, you know, a heads up on what uh, what my thoughts are and what my uh, what I'm going to do moving yeah. forward. And um, you know, I had a really good talk with uh, my family and my my team last night. And uh, you know, my my position is still the same. I'm. Uh, I'm I'm looking to uh, to seek that nomination. I think uh, lots of times in life you you uh, you step aside in opportunities, and it's happened quite a bit to myself. And I think uh, you know I I'd be doing you know myself a disservice, and and all the people that have supported me really over the past, not just the the past year in the campaign, Pat. I'm talking about my whole life, um, and uh, and and really, I mean, I I appreciate um, the premier's position and. Uh, and uh, you know, speaking with her last night, and and I'm the type of fellow that likes to get uh, all the information he can uh, to make a good, sound decision. And uh, hopefully, we can keep going with this. Um, and uh, and and really, that's you know, that's that's basically where 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 my mind's at right now. So, Andrew, let me ask you this. I mean. Of course, you recognize that the the position that we're going to find ourselves in here, right? Where she's going to have to make a decision um, around the appointment, right? Versus uh, letting this go ahead. Yep. Yeah. No, I completely understand for sure. So I guess you know, like you're you're, I'm mean, relatively a pretty young guy with lots and lots of options before you, and I think like I was on I was in the room, which is because you I couldn't hear your side of it. But okay. I hear her. And I think sure. what she was trying to say to you is that, you know, this is in no way an attempt to sort of say, um, we would never want you to do this or, or be part of the team before or after or whatever, but, but that maybe not this time, given this very extraordinary scenario that's come up. Right, right. And no, I understand. I admit it's a pretty extraordinary scenario. I, the yeah. The federal MP is prepared to cross the floor and. Sure, sure. No, I understand. Well, like guy who could pretty much give our chances of winning, our chances of winning back the ride and go way up in that scenario, right? I, uh, I, I tend to uh, to understand the position and um, you know and and respectfully, I uh, you know I I agree that he's a great politician and I completely uh, you know I like uh, Glenn as a as a person and he's done well for the community. I I have no doubts of that at all, Pat. Um, Sure. So I'm saying on that basis, right, and you've now been directly asked by the leader and the premier to um, step, just make a decision to step aside to allow Glenn to have the, have the you know, basically have the opportunity uncontested. Sure. Um, so I'm just saying to you, I guess I think you've got a long road ahead for you, so politics on many fronts, and that sometimes we're asked to make those, we're asked to do those tough things in politics, and that you're being asked this time to that so I just want to make sure that you have actively considered the fact that you know this isn't this is being asked of you and it is hard and and you know for what what for the many people that have looked at this now have come to the belief that this is the best option for the riding um so you you're you know you're being asked to do the the favor I guess or to to make the make the sacrifice this time and you know, that also can go a long way in terms of like opening up options and like I mean in terms of being part of a party, right? This is part of a part a party exercise that happens not as often as more often than you might think in terms of us calling up folks and sort of saying, you know, this time this situation is developed, or will you be willing this time to, to take the, the back seat and let's see what develops going forward? Like, you know, I think of Rob Oliphant. Rob Oliphant, who was a, finally the federal member. Don Valley West stepped aside twice, once for Bob Ray and once for somebody else. And then he 
finally got elected. And this time around, when they came to the nominations, people really took a look at it and said, you know, is, is Rob the old guard, the new guard, and blah, blah, blah. But then the thing was, no, Rob has always been a strong party person and has always, you know, has, has, has sacrificed already. So, no, he's not going to be asked again. Like I was just saying, we were kind of got to build this. I'm just trying to put it in the context of the longer game here. I'm not saying it's going to be punitive or anything. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying in the context of being a member of a party, yep. they were kind of all asked to do these things sometime. And I just want to make sure that you balance that out with, with the decision to say, you know, no, I'm going to do this no matter what. Well. And force the premier to move to the appointment process if that's the only option available to her to, to move this forward. And uh, and I I completely understand Pat. Um, you know, and, and you're right. I think these things come up. Um, you know, and uh, you know, I I I, I uh, spoke about it, and I I understand that. Uh, you know, this is what I'm being asked to do. Um, my you know my position was to do the same, and and again, I I want to work with 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 you guys, and uh, you know, but I want to work as the candidate, um, and if. I, and like you said, and what Jerry had said, the premier has to make her decision. Um, if she needs to make that decision to to do what she has to do, I'll respect it. And and don't get me wrong. And uh, you know that's just where we'll be. And and uh, you know we understand the the uh, the optics of it and whatnot. Um, so really, Pat, I, I and and I wouldn't be true to myself um, if I said that I didn't really want this. Um, and uh, you know and. Asking you to say that you don't really want it. We know, we know you really want it. Um, and and you know, I said to her after I was up there before this all developed, right? That you know, I had no doubt that in a head-to-head you would take it because uh, one, you knew what you were doing. You had the head start on membership, but three, I think you really wanted it more than Mary Ann. But you know, um, but then this has developed, and so it's not. It's not a question of whether we know that you want it. She's, she's asking you to to uh, agree to put that aside for now. Yeah, and, and because because what what how is this going to play out, right? Like what? So you're how how do you think it's going to play out? Like she moves to the nomination. She she decides if if she decides, but I think she's going to. Yep. Uh, to move ahead with the appointment, then what? You say I'm unhappy. Um, I would uh, I would hope that that information would would weigh on her decision I I would think but uh, you know at that point if, if if this is imminent is what you're telling me then then I'll have to make a, a moral decision to, to continue to uh, support uh, the way I have and and go from there but I I'm, like as it stands I mean I'm, I'm just I'm just giving you all the information Pat um, and just like I've received you know, Really believe there was one in the room that would turn to you and say otherwise? 
Um, actually, there was there was some solid conversations in both ways. Uh, my uh, my oh, my. Oh. Go ahead, sorry. Sorry, no, no worries. My girlfriend was, uh, you know, at at first was was quite, uh, um, you know, adamant on saying, "Hey, this is this this is you're you're up against a a real big challenge here," and this person. Yeah. Uh, Glenn is is a great candidate and a great guy, and I said, uh, yeah. you know, and and I understand that, Pat, and um, I mean, in a in a in a contested nomination, I'm sure, you know, he would put up a really really good, uh, you know, really good fight, and and unfortunately, I mean, that's not an option, um, for. Uh, but, it's, but it's more than that. Like it's it's not just like the, that. I or I Andrew live here making a decision to still contest. I Andrew live here decided to say no to the. Um, well... By the way, I've never... You're like the third person I've ever heard or even asked this of. Oh, really? So she feels very strongly. Like, it's a big, big step for her to make this ask. And for her to personally get on the phone with you in that way, uh, that's just not her style. That is that is just something she really believes. In fact, she wanted to be the one to talk to you about it, and Jerry felt that, that she should go in cold. So um, she felt he felt he had to tell you first and wanted to be part of that. And yeah. Then, but we had her on call because she said, I'm not, I'm not letting him go overnight without hearing from me because I know how massive this ask is. Okay. And so, I mean, I, you need to get it into that context and not again because she's going to be mad at you or anything because she's not. She's going to understand, but she's then going to do what she has to do in terms of what she believes is best, you know, for the riding. She is quite desperate to get that, desperate in a good way to get that seat back. And, and you know, it feels like, like while others are getting affected, including Marianne, but you more so by far. Like we've also had to tell Marianne, but that's different because she wasn't the past candidate who came within a thousand. Sure. Um, you know, we get that difference. Don't get me wrong. Uh, and she didn't speak to Marianne. She's only spoken to you, and and she, so she knows how hard the the ask is. But but she is asking you to do this for the party, and um, and but she's saying that's why she said, I hope we're all stand, going to be standing together, and and we need to find a longer term. Know, role here and not in Glenn's shadow, but in terms of your, you know, your own voice. And okay, well, you know, and uh, and Pat, um, you know, this is uh, in light of the the conversation we're having now. I mean, again, this is more information that I, um, you know, that I I didn't think we'd be going this far. Um, and this is this is good information to have. Um, maybe we tell going this far as to whether or not she'd be prepared to go to an appointment. Well, I I mean I heard uh, I heard her vision, and I'm not saying that uh, I didn't respect it um, at all. No, 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 and and I, I I appreciate that, and and you know, like I said, I'm a I'm a person who gathers information, and and yeah. you know, talking with Jerry yesterday, I I was uh, feeling quite strongly, and even talking with the premier that you know this is uh, this is what I want to do, but I mean, talking to you now, um, you know, maybe. You know, maybe we can we can work this out. Um, uh, but again, I, I if you want to, and I'm sure you guys need a decision very very soon here. Um, and uh, so so Pat, what I'm saying is is as a candidate, uh, be it now or in the future, um, and it's just basically my last little statement here is is I felt very strongly about uh, you know uh, the party and and working with you guys, and I still feel that way um and uh you know i'm i am a little bit of a rookie here and this yep. is uh these yep. these types of asks and information that i'm receiving uh is is new information to me right yep. so yep. um no no i and so and you you're you're being you're being terrific like you know um i've heard the premier do some tough calls not in relation to candidates but on other things but sure somebody that she knew very well that wasn't going to get a job she wanted but she decided to tell that person herself and it was that person was extremely nasty in return, and you know she absorbed that because she felt she should. You, she got off the phone, and she said that was a really hard call, but he was really fair and decent about it, and she and she appreciated that you heard him out. So, I, you know, I appreciate. I, I guess I feel good about having this conversation because she got off the phone feeling like you were still friends, where she was so afraid you were going to be really mad at her. And I said, she's not going to be mad at you. He might be mad at the circumstances. She said, no, he, he, he'd be right to be mad at me because I'm asking. Yeah, no, and, and I'm you know, and uh, I I was upset. I uh, felt a little uh, felt a little um, you know. I, I I liked having the conversation with with uh, the premier. She's uh, you know, as I said, I've got more than than and 
ample and, and oodles of respect and hope to even aspire to be, um, you know, like her in the future. Um, yeah. And, and, and Pat, you know, maybe if we, we had this conversation, you know, between uh, mine and the premiers, uh, you know, I, like I said, I, I need the information. And if, yeah. if it's going to come up to getting nasty and ugly, that's, that's not my way of going about this. Um, so, um, you know, I, I would, uh, I would ask again, then just to, uh, again, with more information, I mean, I could, uh, if well, I could, let's just, before, before, let's just think about so other ways that you could, and I'm not, I don't, I was hesitant to go here because I don't, I don't want to look like I'm trying to suggest that there's a, a consolation prize. Mm -hmm. I hear you say, and I heard you say it up there and I hear you say, like, I want to be involved and I want to be at the table. And, and, and that's what she was trying to say to you is that I, I want you to have a role and, but I said to her, I don't, I don't know what else you might be interested in. Like, you know, if you are specifically interested in, in stuff like the accessibility advocacy or disability advocacy, like there is stuff being formed, developed here, committees, and lots of stuff that we could give you a voice on. If uh, you, for example, wanted to be on the executive of the Ontario Liberal Party, not, and that would give you a voice at the party level and at a different level. If there were um, other things that you're particularly interested in that you know, is within her realm to make you part of, um, then she is more than prepared to, to, you know, to do that, to find the, because she said, I don't want to just, like, say, walk away. I really admire what you did in the last round, and the, so, but again, we didn't want to pigeonhole it or say, oh, well, you might be happy with this, like, like, we should have, that's what she meant by let's have that conversation. Sure. Um, and figure out how we keep you active and at the, at the table through all of that, right? Like that riding association has to be overhauled. But I said, it was me who said, you know, we're going to be, I know we're going to be looking for new people to run at the, for the executive at the AGM and probably in late, late April. Right. We should be willing to go on the executive. And, um, Excuse that's me. That's a group that meets with the Premier regularly and has lots of input into how the party runs and operates and, you know, even the stuff and campaign. And, you know, there's, so there are lots of other avenues yeah. that we can, can look at. Uh, yeah. Did you talk to her once about um, that you wanted to do more in the area of um, advocacy for... Well, I'm, I'm actually currently on the Accessibility Committee for OLP. Um, we started that. Uh, okay. was a pro yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's, maybe that's what it is. But, you know, we're, we also had that happening at the government level. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, this was basically just a, a, a subcommittee, you know, dealing with a specific problem. But I, I understand for sure. Um, yeah, like and, if, but that's what she was saying. If we're forming more, and we are, there's some stuff coming out around uh, different um, uh, boards and committees that are going to be formed around doing more in that area. You know, I, I get, yeah, I guess what we want to look at. Sure, I, I guess what it, it uh, you know, I'd be willing to, uh, to, to even, you know, now that you've, you've brought it up, um, you know, and, and if I do do this and, uh, you know, and, and working with, uh, you know, if I'm working beside Glenn, I I I would, uh, you know, prefer to be with with that fella. I mean, uh, he would be someone to uh, to mentor off of, and uh, with with Glenn. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, that would be. Um, I I guess this is a discussion I would have to have with him. Um, oh no, I mean, uh, okay. So I'm gonna be totally like, if you mean like in his considered office or something like that. Sure, sure. Yeah, and okay. And, so so we talked about that, and I think Glenn would actually be very open to that. But again, everyone was. I don't want to, that's what Premier said, like I don't want him to think that he has to be in Glenn's shadow and would that put him in. So I said to her, Premier, like I think that is something we should discuss because like when they're in the riding, those are the guys, or sorry, when the when the MPPs are at Queen's Park, it is the constituency staff, as she well knows, who are out at all the meetings, who do all the community advocacy, who, who is exactly that, maybe that is part of what he'd want to do. And, and actually Glenn said that a, you know, a week or so ago when we were chatting, but Nobody, like again, nobody wanted to sort of say, oh, but here's your consolation prize, right? But if you're open to those discussions, there are many people, you know, willing to, uh, to have them. And I, I, I believe that is something you and Glenn could discuss, but I believe you'd be open to it. Okay, well, um, you know, uh, it, you know, like I said, you know, this is all new information that I'm receiving. I know, and, I know, I know. I'm and, sorry. No, no, don't apologize, Pat. And, uh, you know, it's... Uh, um, it's, uh, something where, uh, you know, I don't, I don't consider it a consolation prize and, and, you know, I, and, uh, you know, all these options are great and I, I currently am working. I mean, this is something that I'm, I'm proud of yeah. and what I'm doing. So it may be something where I'm, I'm, uh, you know, on your first, uh, suggestion, 
um, you know, uh, doing some stuff with uh, with the advocacy with uh, the AODA and and that legislature. Um, yeah. So you know what? Uh, if you if you can. That, that we don't have to decide overnight, right? There's lots of options that we can sit down and talk about. I mean, I'm gonna. We're all gonna be up to very many times. We can sit down and you know talk that through. And just we should have the broader discussion about what what is it that you'd be most interested in doing, and then decide what what shape that could take. That would fulfill that is what I'm getting at. Whether it's a full time or part time job at a consent office, whether it is appointments to boards or commissions, whether it is also going on the exec director. There's lots of, but I I would just just need to better understand, you know, what 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 is it that uh, you most want to do, yep. short of this, because we know this, is like, being the MPP is the thing you most want to do, but, like, what is what is the next couple things? That <laughs> yeah, need? well, no one, yeah, you, you, when you go in for a job or interview, you really yeah. don't uh, come out thinking, well, if I don't get it, what, you know, right. what other thoughts, right. but so, uh, um, so again, Pat, um, I, um, the, I'm going to leave you with that, and if I could, uh, you know, uh, you know, tell you right now, um, if I could speak with Glenn, if he's willing to talk to me, and then I could uh, chat with him and give him the uh, the final uh, the final yay, and um, you know, from there we could uh, again. I I I think uh, I don't want to, uh, as we say up here, make bad friends. Um, and uh, the English is poor, but it, it's basically you know, it's basically. Building relationships and not crumbling them before you know be, while they're in the the great establishment uh, phase, um, and uh, you know I'm I'm uh, I'm an honorable person, so I will definitely um, when I do talk to Glenn, if he can give me a chat a, a call, and I'll talk to him, and yeah. Yeah. and, and uh, we can go from there. Um, but, you know, Pat, and and you know I'm sure he's not going to get off the phone and call me right away, but. When he does speak to me, I, I I'll have a clear head and I'll use again the information. Uh, you know, I I I, um, I won't lie. I, I felt pretty good yesterday about continuing this, and and um, I I don't you know in in one sense I could feel like you know I I have to uh, I don't have a choice, um, but but I you know that doesn't mean that uh, that could be a, a a dirty situation. It could come out uh, come out well yeah. for for all of us, Pat. Okay, so are, are you in... Are, than happy to talk to you on the... I'm, I'm trying to reach him at some point tonight. He's traveling back, but I know he had a flat tire or something, so I couldn't reach him. Oh, no. Okay, I well... I can give you a call on the weekend. Yeah, when you do, uh, when you do get a hold of him, get him to give me a call. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and then we're going to... Uh, we'll have a conversation, and, and we'll go from there for sure. Okay. Well, I really appreciate you letting me uh, give it another run through. And well, I'm around all weekend, just email, text me, and I can call you anytime, and... Yeah, yeah, no, it's I, I appreciate that, Pat, and uh, you know, like I, I said, talk to the premier again. We can arrange that. <laughs> no, I know she's real busy, so I I I I, uh, I completely understood her position. Um, last, last night, Andrew, she went to eight Christmas concerts <laughs> in her riding. Suit. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like she uh, she was uh, there was something going on. There was a party going on, anyways. Yeah, so we were having our own Liberal Caucus Service Bureau Christmas party. And, oh, I uh, see. Okay. Well, uh, okay. we'll definitely okay. uh, if you can get a hold of them, we'll chat, and uh, I'll yeah. I'll definitely keep the lines of communication open, Pat. Yeah, I will get them. Okay. I appreciate that very much, and we'll talk soon. All right. Bye bye. All right. Thanks, Andrew. Bye. Bye. So what do I do? Well, <clears throat> I think that was pretty clear that if you run, they're gonna bury you. And like, oh, we just found out about this yesterday morning. Oh, when I was talking to 